But first tonight, a double shooting rocks the sleepy town of Galt. One of the victims, a teenager. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live in Galt with the investigation into what sparked the violence tonight, Marley. Uh, Tony and Elizabeth, a lot of upset out here. I'm standing right in the alley where it all happened. In fact, you can still see the leftover crime scene tape out here. And let me tell you, where I'm standing, all of these houses are really extremely close to each other. So you could imagine when people heard all of this, this didn't just spark fear. It also sparked frustration. Do you have uh, envelopes? For Galt police investigators mapped out the crime scene collecting any evidence they could find. At one point, towing away an SUV parked in the alley near B Street and 7th Street, right where police found a male juvenile who'd been shot. After paramedics transported him to the hospital, police say another victim showed up with a gunshot wound. I literally just heard two gunshots. I wasn't even sure they were gunshots. I heard three shots. I didn't think it was anything until I could hear the sirens coming. Neighbors watched the whole thing play out from their windows. This man didn't want his face on camera, but it hit too close to home after his nephew was shot and killed less than a year ago in Roseville. Kids are doing that, you know. We moved here because this is a nice area. I just don't want any involvement in anything. I live here. I walked down that alley and now I don't even want to walk down that alley anymore. Is there anything you could say to the community about that? We've got kids out here getting shot. Yeah, the, the bullets don't discriminate. Uh, kids, adults, um, that's why it's so important that if you have information for us to let us know. Police now hoping any new information or leads will help them get the shooter and any illegal guns off the streets. Well, it's just disturbing because Galt was great 10 years ago and crime has gone up so much in literally the last six months. It's ridiculous. It's sad. Yeah. It's because uh, these kids, they can't, I, they just, I just wish they could see what they're doing to one another. Now, police definitely determined to get this case wrapped up. Now, when I talked with investigators out here earlier this evening, they are convinced that they did talk with pretty much everyone involved in this, but there is a concern that there could be people out there who are just too afraid to come forward, and they definitely want to hear from everyone.